Okay, so um, these are supposedly the prices that they sold cars for uh, in one month. And I guess they're trying to make the cars seem cheap or something. So people will come and buy a car from there. And so they're going to try and figure out which of these three measures of central tendency gives them the smallest answer. So how do I find the mean of those numbers? Not what is it. How do I find it, Carlita? Okay, slow down, go too fast. Hold on, wait. wait. Just hold on, stop. Gosh, you're making me screw up. Okay, what now? Add all the numbers up. Okay, so I'm going to add all the numbers up. So 17,500 plus uh, 15,300 plus 16,800. Was ooh, 65,900. What kind of car is that? A Porsche. Huh? Lambo. Maybe okay. Plus 12,800. Plus 16,300. Okay, and then you divide by how many millis there are. Okay, so all of those add up to uh, 144,600 dollars. And then I do what? How many numbers are there? Six. Six? Okay. So I take that and divide it by six. And I get uh, 24,100. So if I was going to use the uh, mean to say how much the cars cost from the place that I'm selling them, I would be telling people that cars cost $24,100. All right? Um, how do I find out what the median is? I think it is to put the numbers where we stick right in the cross it out. Right. And so instead of rewriting them all because those are uh, long numbers, I'm going to go <coughs> smallest is 12,800, biggest is 65,900. What's the smallest that's left? 15,300 15, and 17,500. And now I have two left. So how do I decide what the median is for those? What do you say, Haley? Take your in between eight hundred and three hundred and five to the middle number. Okay, so in between uh, eight hundred and three hundred is a difference of five hundred. Half of that is two fifty, and so my median would be sixteen thousand five hundred and fifty. Okay, so that's smaller than the mean. So I like that so far. What's the mode? It's the middle number. Well, yeah, there were two of them, so I added them together and divided by two. Okay. okay. Um, the mode what? Yeah. Okay, the number that's used the most. Which Emily? Which number is that? There is no mode because they all come up only one time. So, which measure of central tendency makes the cars seem the cheapest? Yes. Median. The median. So the answer to this is. Median. I don't know if they want you to say what it is or. It just says the astrologer. It just says the median. Oh no, it says 16,550. Astrologer. Yeah. You own the business. Wouldn't you probably tell them, like the mean or the uh, average? Wouldn't you tell them probably something a little different? Because that 65,000 <coughs> car brings that up and most likely they wouldn't buy that car. Right. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't even think I'd tell them the average or the median or anything. I'd just send out a flyer about the great sales I'm having. Um, or commercial. Michael could be in the yeah, commercial. All the car and like, you know, we try to end your car and it's flying, so we're not going to Yeah, right. Cars. They got hovercraft golf carts already. They have flying cars pretty soon. Yeah, I know. Uh, what's your Bubba Watson has one, doesn't he? Uh, I don't know. It's some, I haven't seen the video. Oh, I, yeah, I saw it. Pretty sweet. Did you watch the Masters? I watched, uh, I watched yeah, a lot of it. The first Australian ever won the Masters Cup. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that was cool. Did you watch the Yeah, that's what that was. My grandma watched the Masters Really? She didn't play anything. Well, no, I don't imagine she did. She got a golf ball. It's a tournament for boys. If your grandma was that good, we would know about it. All right, number seven. Um, what? Uh, no, you don't have to do anything like that. 
All right, so number seven, we're going to do a box and whisker plot. I know you guys don't like doing these very much. And to be quite honest, they're not very useful. And so that's why I only assigned one. Um, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so to do a box and whisker plot, you need to come up with five numbers, OK? Um, you need to know let's not do it that way. You have to come up with five numbers. 30, 50, 50, 50, well, don't just say what they are. So the first number that you need to come up with is the uh, median. And they were nice enough to write these numbers in order for us. So that makes finding the median easy. So I'm going to cross off this and cross off that and cross off this and cross off that and cross off this and cross off that and cross off this and cross off that. And so once again, we have a tie. We have two in the middle. How do I find what to use if I have two? Right, add them and divide by two. So did anybody do that? It's 65.5. 65.5, thank you. So the median is 65.5, okay? And that's going to make a dividing line right there in the middle. Now that I know that, I need to find the median of the two halves that are left over. So if I cross those out from there, then one of my other numbers is 73. And then if I find the middle of these numbers here, my other one is uh, 56. And so those numbers tell me how to make my box for the box and whisker plot. Nope, don't need to find the mode. So this is 56. This is 73. And 65, is that like right in the middle or closer? That's a little closer to this side? Yeah, not much. Though. Not much. So I'm going to move it just a little bit over to there. Well, I'm showing you right now. Okay? Showing you right now. So this number right here that's the middle of the box is the median. These numbers that are the edge of the box are the middle of the lower half and the middle of the upper half. Now I need to draw my eight whiskers. And so this is going to go down to the lowest number, which is 51. So that's not very far. And this is going to go up to the highest number, which is uh, 76. So that's not very far either. So there are my whiskers. I'm oh, sorry, 79. Not 76. So there is my box and whisker plot. Okay. Yeah, and I agree with McKinsey. They're, they're kind of confusing uh, how to how to Doesn't really make a lot of sense. Okay. Uh, so all I can tell you, like all I can keep saying, McKinsey and the rest of you that are confused, this is the median. Okay. Once you find the median, this number is the middle number of the lower half. This number is the middle number of the higher half. This is the lowest number, and this is the biggest number. So the median is the middle. The median is the very middle. And the median and the high. That's the median. Then, yeah, this is the median. High. There might be one. This is median. Uh, low. This is lowest. And this is highest. I don't know who made that up. Okay, and then somebody else said uh, we did six and seven and then twelve. Is that the only one you need? Eight. Eight? Yeah, I only wanted you to do one box of whisker plot. That's what we're doing right now here. We'll talk about that in a minute. All right, number 12, use a circle graph to answer each question. How many more students voted for Mitch than for May? Okay, so there were 312 students total. What percent voted for Mitch? Easy question. Come on, everybody should be answering that. What? How many? What percent voted for Mitch? Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight percent. 
What percent voted for May? 20. 20%. 20%. percent May. I don't know. I don't know if that 42. Me, May. Um, all right. So I need to figure out what 38 percent of 312 is. How do I do that? You divide it. I don't know. Multiply. multiply them together, but instead of multiplying by 38, I'm going to multiply by 0.38. So I go 0.38 times 312, and when I do that, 0.38 times 312, that means there were a total of, I'm going to round up to 119 votes for Mitch. Okay? And then the way I find how many people voted for May or my or me or whatever it is, is 0 0.20 times 312. Yeah, because they want to know how many more. So that was, uh, did you round that up to 63 or something? Or did you not round the other one? Okay, but then you get a different answer than is in the book. And I don't want you guys to get it marked wrong. So make this into 63. So how many more voted for? One person on the other. Yes. What? 56. That's what I just said. I think. Yeah, you said it was 56. Uh huh. And I agree. And you said. I just scribbled I out. said if I rounded this down to 62, then it would come out to be 57. So I had to cheat there a little bit to get the answer to match. Yes. Okay. Obviously, you have to do number 10. Number 10. Come on. Come on. Oh boy, number 10? Oh, so, yeah, that's uh, well, are you looking in your book? There's an example right next to it. Okay, except for on the bottom of number 10, instead of putting 45, 50, 55, 60, they want you to go by 10s. So you'll go 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. And then make bars in each one of those sections of that. That's that. Okay, so they're going by tens, right? Yes, sir. So you go 90. Did they make a little line? Wait, yes, Mr. Collins. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. 150 the highest? I didn't do that. I didn't do that. You did what? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so 91 to 100, which would be right in here, Mackenzie, there were five people. So you make a bar with height of five. Okay? Uh, and then next to that, there's uh, seven. So you have to make a height bar with a height of seven. So it's just like a bar round. Kind of like that? Yeah, exactly like that. Very nicely done. You do the graph paper, oh, the, the ruler, the whole thing. No, yeah, the whole shading, even everything. Very, very neat uh, rectangle. Thanks. All right, are we good? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. will you guys pass this forward? Good, dude. Yeah,